Hey there, good evening, guys. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing today? You good? Yes, good. All right. Thank you very much. It's good to see you all. All right. Let's just start by taking attendance. Thank you for answering, Yasmin. You know the drill, right? Camera son, full name's displayed. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Not present. Ana Maria Chicón de Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Not present. Raquel Soto Martinez. Present. Thank you. Oopsie, 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 oopsie. Here it is. Edson Antonio Guzmán Landaverde. Not present. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Not present. ¿Qué más venden ellos son eso? Ok. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Hector Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thanks. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Not present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Thank you. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Present, teacher. Present. Present. All right, so I got José too. Let me go back. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Thank you. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Thanks. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Um, Escalante. Yep. Not present. Don María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. Thanks. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Carlos Armando Duarte. Carlos Armando. No present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thanks. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Thank you. And Jocelyn Meldas de Ibas Abarca. Present. Thank you very much. Anybody who just got here? Present teacher. Good evening. Okay. Present Ada. teacher. All right. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Let me help you with the name. And who else? Oh, Fatima. Okay. Fatima Efegenia Lopez Ramos. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much. So welcome everybody. Let's get it started. Ooh, what's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people without the camera. Are you getting shy? Les está entrando Sorry. la pena últimamente. What's up with you Sorry, guys? Come I, was, I was working for that reason. I didn't turn out the camera. Ah, okay. All right. Now. Got okay. it. Got it. Thank you very much. Okay. So what was what did we do um, yesterday? What was yesterday activity? Do you already passed uh, unit two? A review of unit two, that's right. And what were the, the, the main topics we covered? There are. There are, uh huh, there is. It is not allowed. Mm -hmm. And obviously, vocabulary so today we're going to start with a new unit here it is okay. okay here they are so we're going to start with unit three guys this is our third week of, of classes and um i want you to get ready because in this class we're going to practice more our speaking so let me ask you something who has problems creating conversations or knowing what to say? 
quién tiene problemas creando conversaciones o sabiendo qué hacer y con qué decir. Me. Yo. Yo. Me. Me. Okay, most of you, right? Now, yeah. let me tell you something, guys. Acuérdense que estamos en básico 5. This is basic 5. Okay? So, aquí ustedes pueden des desenvolverse en una forma básica. Sin embargo, eso no es excusa para que no trabajemos con vocabulario. Okay. Careful with the background sound, guys. Background noise. So, let me ask you something. Okay. Have you learned vocabulary? Yeah. Lately? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Conmigo, with me, or by yourselves? With you and by myself. Okay. Very good. Keep it up, guys. Obviamente, ocupen cosas que les van a servir. No anden aprendiendo vocabulario de cosas termonucleares, right? You're not going to talk about it anytime soon. Now, the second thing, which one of you has um, practiced or learned the verbs in all the tenses? ¿Quiénes han practicado o memorizado los, los verbos? Conocen. Ajá. Ah, ok, very good. Some But I don't ago. remember. I don't remember some. It's ok, it's ok. Now, um, the reason why I'm asking this, guys, is esta, this class is going to be conversational, pretty much. Pronunciation, conversation, listening. Ok, there's pretty much no grammar involved. Okay. No vamos a partir la gramática y a tener una base gramatical el día de hoy. So remember, um, as a recommendation, learn vocabulary and verbs every day. Todos los días, guys. Toditos los días. Si no, va a haber un momento en que se van a sentir tan frustrados, en básico 6, en intermedio 1, en intermedio 2, que van a decir esto no es para mí. Cuando claramente, si han llegado hasta acá, es porque algo han hecho bien. Y tienen el esfuerzo, entonces... Remember, guys, sé que dicen que hablo mucho paja, probablemente, pero ya he pasado por este camino, ya he dado prácticamente todos los, del, solo del grupo de Sofur, solo me falta el avanzado 6, creo yo. De ahí ya, ya lo di todos y he visto su escenario muchas veces. No quiero que a mediados de intermedio ustedes van a decir esto no es para mí, no sirvo para los idiomas, no sirvo para el inglés, cuando todo lo que tuvieron que hacer es esforzarse más, aprender más vocabulario escuchar más en inglés ok so, la ley del mínimo esfuerzo no funciona acá se le van a acumular tantas cosas que van a decir I'm done, I'm out y perdieron un montón de tiempo ok, so work on vocabulary every single day be curious guys, sean sumamente curiosos, yo aprendí inglés en el centro cultural y entré creo que de un solo al 9 al nivel 9 o al nivel 7 no es porque yo sea super dotado sino porque era metido porque cantaba mucho en inglés, agarraba los libritos. En ese entonces me gustaban Blink-182. De hecho, todavía me gustan. Y me leía las canciones y cantaba. Y los juegos. Y la televisión. Y era chute. Estaba el boom del internet. Era bien metido. Entonces, ahí, señores, yo me comí siete o nueve niveles. Ni me acuerdo. Así de poderoso es que ustedes se, se expongan al idioma. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que vamos a ver Present Perfect? Sí. Yes. Ya, yeah, vea. ¿Cuándo creen que viene Present Perfect? Próxima semana. <laughs> Tomorrow. Ah, bueno. ¿Y se aprendieron los verbos que les dije que se aprendieron? No todos. Por mi parte, no todos. Mm. Pero... Ok, good. So, no sientan que yo les estoy achacando nada más lo malo, porque han hecho muchas cosas buenas, sino que todos, mijo, toditos. Sobre todo los regulares, que son los más fáciles. Entonces, guys. Es un wake up call. Están a tiempo. You can do this. Believe me. Solo no se vayan a arrepentir cuando estén en intermedio o más adelante. Ok. All right, guys. Let's do this. Thing. I have a question for you. I have an answer. Hopefully. Okay. Tell me. Uh -huh. Tell me, Sela. Sure. Ok. Um, you were talking about, a, about verb. Mm -hmm. Did you provide a specific list to memorize the verb? No. 
No, okay. No. Okay, so we have to do it by yourself, right? Yes. I mean, I can I can provide a list, okay. don't take me wrong. Thank you. But it's the same list that you will find on the internet. Okay. Recommendations. Because of my plans. Okay, I I thought that, that you share one. No, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm not supposed to give you adv um like advertising. Okay. All right. I'm not supposed to give you advertising, guys. Better, let me ask you. Um, I'm going to mute you for a second, okay? Because of the background noise, but you can unmute yourself. Por mis planes de vida. Estoy aprendo catalán en Duolingo, right? And um, it's not easy. Yo he estado donde ustedes están. Yo aprendí inglés acá. No lo aprendí en los estados, como muchos profesores. Y sé lo difícil que es. Pero también estoy tratando de aplicar mis mismos consejos aprendiendo catalán. De hecho, empecé hace como el sábado. No salí, me quedé hasta 2, 3 de la mañana estudiando. Y estoy catalán. día al día, yes. Y tiene muchas similitudes con francés, con español con inglés. Entonces el hecho de ser polígota o políglota en inglés es políglota. Um, una vez ustedes tienen una base, se hace mucho más fácil aprender un segundo, un, un tercer idioma. Métale a esto y um, se puede ganar mucho dinero con, con tres lenguas. Solo un call center paga 950, creo yo, con inglés, español y francés. Para muchos no es mucho, para muchos es un montón. Right? So, Really, really, really. Okay, so I think I'm done with this. Let's get it started. Any questions? No questions. No. No. Well, you can do this, guys. Okay. Just make sure you do your best. So repeat after me, please. Unit three. Unit three. three. Say with me, please. Three. 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 I will be able to describe issues about machinery. I will be able will to be describe, describe issues about machinery. About machinery. About machinery. Yeah. What are some common problems at, the, at a plant? What, what are some common problems at a plant? Problems of plants. Make a list. Make, make a list. list. Make a list. Make right. a list. Now, writing it. I will be able to describe issues about machinery. I will be able to describe issues about machinery. Write it down. 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 Write Problems, mm, we have to suffer problems. it. Pro problems. Pro problems. Problems. So guys, what do you think are the most common problems at a plant or at your work? What are the most common mm -hmm. problems about machinery or equipment? The machine doesn't work. Broken ah. tools. Okay, machines. Listen down. Not working. Uh huh. Um, no power. No power. No power. Yeah. <laughs> system down. Uh huh. No system of a down. La banda vea. System down. <laughs> Broken pieces. Broken pieces. Uh huh. Uh, what else you think? Uh, maintenance. Maintenance. Uh huh. Maintenance. Don't worry, man. Don't don't say I'm sorry. Maintenance. What else? In your particular place. In my case, when we had classes at the academy, the speakers, ah, that's the most common problem. Speakers not working. And you guys? What problems Next. do you have? Uh, internet connection. Irregular connection of internet. Ah. Intermittent internet. Mm -hmm. Intermittent internet. What else? Come on, think. What other um, 
scenarios do we have? Mm, no light. Uh -huh, no power. So like no electricity, no power. Yeah. No water. <laughs> no water. Yeah. Some some machinery works with water. Yes. Uh huh. Noise, teacher, with extraños. Ah, okay. Weird. Strangers. <laughs> Noise. Uh -huh. Noise. Yeah. Noise. That's right. Good job. Okay. Are you ready for this? Say with me, please. Listen to your teacher read the conversation. Listen, Listen to, to your teacher, teacher, teacher read the conversation. Read the conversation. Okay. Then practice with a partner. Then practice, then practice with, a with a partner. Volunteer to read that, please. Jocelyn? Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Very good. Let's get it done. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. If you have it in front of you, don't read, please. Don't read the PDF. Just listen and repeat. Do not read. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Someone reported a fault. Madre. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You know, it doesn't work properly. It doesn't work properly. And it makes a strange noise. And it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. This is a complex, this is a complex machine. machine. So maybe you will need some time. So maybe, maybe we need some time. Yes. 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 Complex Whoa. machines have a lot of components. Components. I need to take the metal casing off. I need to take, need to take, to take the casing off. Off. To verify if it's a minor fault or what. To you verify if it's a minor fault or what. What? I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. If that is the case, if that is, if the, that case, is the case, case okay. we need to speed things up. Then we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes. I recommend, I recommend check the brushes. The brushes. I recommend the brushes. Once a fortnight. To make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. We will have to extend the shot. I have a question. Did you read? I, no. I didn't. Did you? No. Did you read? Hey, hey guys. Did you read? <laughs> good. Good, one. good job. I want to say congratulations. Um, to some of you, this might be difficult because this is your first module. But look at most of you. We have been doing this for so long that your listening skills are improving. All right. So congratulations. Very good job. Now let's go ahead and read it. Okay. Just let me share this real quick. There we are. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian.
No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look no at problem. it. No problem. No problem. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. Look at it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You know, it doesn't work no. properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need more time. Some bleh, need some time. I said more. Let me do it again. This is a complex machine, so maybe you'll need some time. This, this is, is a complex, complex machine, machine. So maybe, maybe you will need some time. Some time. Some time. Machine. 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 Like, shh, we don't say machine. 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 Yes, okay. complex machines have a lot of components. Yes, yes. complex yes. machines yes. have a lot of components. Yes. Uh -huh. The stress is in the O. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it's a minor fault or what. I need, I need to take the metal casing off. I need to take the I understand. I understand. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. Good job. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? What happens if they are? We'll have to extend the shot. We will have to extend the shot. That's right. Hey, good job, guys. You're doing great at this. By the way, this one. Remember this? The pronunciation I said, talking about pronunciation, I said pecan, but the right pronunciation is pecan with the stress in the A. Okay? So I didn't pronounce it properly. This is the correct pronunciation. Okay? So. Esta, como se acuerdan, yo la había confundido con otro tipo de, de, de semilla. Right? ¿Y saben cómo me di yeah. cuenta de que lo había dicho mal? Viendo The Walking Dead. Oh. Así de sencillo. Viendo The Walking Dead, escuché que andaban recogiendo algo y dijeron pecan. And I was like, oh my God, I mispronounced it, right? So, vocabulary, cuando uno se expone a ese vocabulario, Siempre se le queda grabado algo. Lo escuché normal. Eso sí, tengan cuidado, guys, que a veces en la misma conversación, en las películas o en la vida real, alguien puede decir una cosa de una manera o de otra. Como, por ejemplo, direct, direct. Right? Center, center. Mm -hmm. But this one, este siempre va pecan. Okay? So, pay attention to movies pecan. and everything. Pecan. Sure. Mm -hmm. Ah, o sea, porque yo he escuchado eso, por ejemplo, con direccio direcciones, uh -huh. que alguien dice direction. Yeah, directions, directions. Now, the thing is this, casi siempre cuando, cuando se, se menciona la A, la I, así como que die, direct, directions, viene más del British. Yeah. Uh, viene un poquito más del lado del British. En inglés es más directions. However, sin embargo... Um, esto no es algo que a ustedes les va a causar problemas. Uh, vamos a poner a Manchita en mute. Okay. All right, don't worry. As a matter of fact, mine, la de mi casa se llama Manchita, es más loca que el perico que tenemos acá. <laughs> Pero anyways, um, no worries about it. Hay cosas que sí cambian el significado debido a la pronunciación, hay otras que no. Center, center. Don't worry about it. All right, so help me out here with the um, with the translation, guys. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Gracias por venir, Dorian. Gracias por venir, Dorian. Gracias por venir. No problem. 
No hay problema. No hay problema. Someone reported a fault on one of our machines. Alguien reportó una falla, una falla en una de tus máquinas. máquinas. Ajá, alguien reportó una falla, fault, on one of your machines. Uh, you can also see faulty. Esto es defectuoso. Okay, falla, defectuoso. Faulty, okay. Faulty. I'll have a look at it. Eh, le daré un vistazo, lo voy a revisar. Mm -hmm. Le echaré un vistazo. Le echaré un vistazo, lo voy a revisar. Futuro, right? What yeah. structure is this? Uh, subject, will. Ajá, uh -huh. will. Subject, will, and verb. Mm -hmm. So it's simple future with will. You're right. Tiene razón. Tiene razón. Ajá, what structure is this one? Uh, simple person. To be. Yeah, a simple person, to be. You know, it doesn't work properly. Sabes, este, no, está, no, no, no trabaja, está trabajando correctamente. <laughs> Guys, muy bien. Um, whenever you hear this, cuando ustedes escuchan work, es literalmente no funciona. Funciona correctamente. No funciona correctamente, pero por esta traducción del inglés, este, la gente ahí en los estados dice no trabaja. Y es, y es algo, no funciona, pero es por eso. También dicen la luz, en vez de semáforo dicen la luz, porque allá es traffic light. Entonces, lo, lo traducen literalmente. And the other one is uh, to call back. To call back, que es llamar de regreso. Ellos dicen, llámame para atrás. O llámame para atrás. Lo ponen literal. So, si alguna vez ustedes hablan con gente... Así entiendan que hay cosas que las traducen literalmente. Cultura general. All right. So, you know, it doesn't work properly and it makes a strange noise. Y está haciendo okay. ruidos extraños. Uh -huh. What structure is this, guys? Mm -hmm. Presente simple. Simple present. That's right. Correct. This is a complex machine. Eso. Esta es una máquina compleja. What structure is this one? Estamos ocupando el this is, right? Que es siempre prácticamente cae en el verb to be por esto, pero la estructura de this is. So, maybe you will need some more. Entonces, tal vez necesitará más algo más de tiempo. Ajá. Tal vez necesitarás que me seca. Sorry. Tal vez necesitarás algo más de tiempo. What structure is this? Future. Futuro. Uh -huh. Future. Future with will. Yeah. Will. 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 Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. Sí, máquinas sí, máquina complejas máquina. tienen un, un montón de componentes. Componentes. Muchos componentes. Ajá, muchos. Máquinas complejas tienen un montón de componentes. Structure. Uh, simple uh, present. Simple uh, present. What is the subject? Uh, complex, complex machines. machines. Uh, complex machines. Uh -huh. Verb. Uh, uh, Complement. Uh, a lot of components. components. A lot of components. Right. Components. 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 I need to take the metal casing off. Necesito quitarle la como la carcasa o quitarle el case. Bueno, quitarle el case o la carcasa de metal. To verify if it's a minor fault or what. Para verificar si es una falla menor o qué. Okay, guys, this is. What is this? Simple present. Simple present using need to. All right. Sure. Tell me. Yeah. Ahí es donde dice casing off to bury. Sería verify, but no. Ah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Correct to verify. Se han fijado que a veces hay posts en internet que dicen si tú puedes leer esto y hay un montón de combinación de números y letras. Uh -huh. Yeah, el cerebro <laughs> nos nos juega una mala pasada. To verify, correct. Hey, good eye, William. No me he fijado. I haven't noticed. I understand. Entiendo. Structure? 
Uh, simple present. Simple present, that's right. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. Si este es el caso, si necesitamos apresurar las cosas. What structure is this? Using it. Yes. We already covered this, if I'm not mistaken. Hasta video le mandé. Conditional. Zero conditional. That's right. Which is simple present. Simple present. Good job. Good eye. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. Yo recomiendo revisar los cepillos una vez. Una vez cada 15 días. Ajá, cada 15 días. A fortnight es una quincena. Good job. Ajá. Para asegurarnos de que no esté. Eh, que no esté ahí, caído o abajo, no, pero es como que no, esté, que no, esté, que no esté funcionando. Ajá, that is not working. If you work at technical support, they can tell you the system is down. Server is down. Ajá, server down. down, right? No es que se haya caído, literalmente que está en el suelo, no, sino que no funciona. It doesn't work. Podría ser. Ajá, that's right. And what happens if they are? That's right. What structure is this? Simple present. Simple present. Yeah, it's a question. That's right. We will have to extend the shot. Tendremos que extender. That's right. Shut is pretty much a synonym of close. No, okay. Right? Ah, so, shut up. Exactly. Shut up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Correct. Good. So, guys, what structure is this? Simple present using well. Future. Simple future using well. All right, guys. So, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to work in pairs or in groups. I'll see it. I'm going to send this via WhatsApp and I wanted to practice the pronunciation. I'm gonna send you a voice note. I don't have my phone with me. I'm gonna send you a voice note right now so you can practice it. In the meantime, go ahead and accept the invite and I'll send the, uh, the thank you, thank you, mommy. Um, and I will send the, uh, the voice note right now. Please accept the invite. Start working on this. Blah, blah, blah. Right, I'm gonna have. Go for it. I'll send it right now. One of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You're right. You know it doesn't work properly.
Yo creo que es la ocupa contracciones. Por ejemplo, we ate, have to, pero no se le escucha muy, muy, Ajá. muy, porque ya lo dice sí. natural, pues. Nosotros lo decimos como forzados cuando tratamos de contractar el will. Ajá. We will have to extend the shoe. We will have to extend the shot. Will. Will have to extend the shot. The will. 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 Um, writing, written English and reading or pronunciation is very different. It's muy diferente. So, por eso los estoy acostumbrando a ustedes a que ya lo vayan escuchando de manera natural. Okay? okay. Alrighty. Work okay. on this. If you have any question, let me know. You can do one, for example, Ada Fernando Débora, Ada Fernando Débora, and so on and so on. Este, hoy cambio, quiero ser Doria. Ya fui Ramón. Okay. I want to be Doria. I want to wanna be Doria. There you go. I need to take the metal. Casting of the berry. It's meaningful or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speak to you. I recommend that check the brush once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happened in their art? Will, we will have to spend the shot. The shot. shot. Good job, guys. I like it. I like the, the, the rhythm you're using. Remember, I sent you the audio. Okay, uh, so try to use the audio too. Um, or let me do it with you. Start again with the same order. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Al que le toque. En el mismo orden que van antes. No problem. Uh, Repeat after uh, me. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Dorian. Ajá, solo uno, en el mismo orden que lo hicieron anteriormente, ¿ok? Al que le toque lo que yo diga, lo repite, si no, no. No problem. No problem. Pro. A little bit softer. Pro. Problem. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. Someone reported a fault. Oh, where's your machine? I'll have a look at it. I have a look at it. Good job. You're right. You're right. You know, it doesn't work properly. You know, it does not work properly. For plenty. For uh -huh. plenty. Nice. Pro -per -ly. Properly. Properly. Good job. And it makes a strange noise. And it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. So maybe you so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing Component. off. Okay, Fatima, jump in. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. Yes, a complex machine has a lot of components. 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 I need to take the metal casing off. I need to take the metal casing off. To verify if it's a minor fault or what. Sorry. To verify our minor faults or what? I understand. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight. 
I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight. To make sure they are not down. To make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Hector, we will have to extend the shot. We will have to extend the shot. Good job. Guys, listen up. Um, quiero que vayan mañana que se suba el video a las 8 de la mañana por ahí. Quiero que vayan al minuto 40 46 por ahí de la clase y que se escuchen. Quiero que vean la diferencia cuando lo hacían solo leyendo y la diferencia cuando lo hacían repitiendo después de mí. Muy buen trabajo. Lo saben hacer. Ok, así que siempre que hagan esto, traten de escuchar y repetir. Good job, guys. Components. Components. Sorry about that. Continue. Components. Mm -hmm. I need to take the metal casing up to verify it is a minor falsehood or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend to check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. Uh, what happened if they are? We would have to extend that shot. Hey, good job, Catherine and Miriam. Good job. I know that it's not easy for you, but you did a fantastic job. Minor, eh, teacher. Yo esa palabra pensaba que era minor. Minor, uh -huh. minor, minor. minor. Um, and the other one is components. Components. But well, you're doing great. Keep it up. We have like three more minutes. Over and over again. Qué aburrido, teacher. Dale, practice makes perfect. Go. Oh. Unas cuatro clases atrás. Ah, bueno, entonces sí se puede. Sí. Ya, ya, ya hicimos conversación y traducción. Entonces, pero continuemos entonces. Ah, <laughs> good, okay. exactly. Continuemos, continuemos. <laughs> yes. Continuemos. Entonces, nuevamente Teachers, soy Ramón. Te... Nuevamente soy Ramón. Uh -huh. Teachers. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Se salió, se salió, se salió yo, se li... yo se linera. Uh, I changed her. I changed her to another group. Don't worry. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces sí. Yeah, Continuemos. No problem. Someone report a foul one. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? Yo ahí me confundo en eso. The foul, the foul on, a, on one. A fault on. Someone reported a fault, a fault on one of your machines. A Slow. fault on one of your machines. Ajá. Casi todo eso oh. lleva links. Oh. Ajá. Ok. Yeah. I, have, I have a look at, at it. I'll have a look at it. I have a look at it. A look at it. Ajá. Ok. You are right. You know it does not work properly. And it makes, and it makes a strange noise. Good job. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Good job. Good job. Uh, do it. I like it, Jose Saul. Way softer. Say it with me. You're right. You're okay. right. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Repeat after me. You're right. Uh, uh, you're right. Good. Big change. Good job. Continue. Yes. Complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the med the metal casing off to verify it is a minor default or what? Uh -huh. um, I understand. Good. I good. understand. Uh -huh. If that's the case, we need to speed thing up. I speed? recommend. Do it with speed. me. Sorry to interrupt. If that's the case, this. guys, good job. Good job, good job, good job. I've been checking your conversations. And your pronunciation is improving a lot. All right. Uh, for example, I can say congratulations to everybody, but especially I like Jose Saul. I like, um, where are you? I like Catherine. I like Miriam. I like Fatima. I like Rina. I like Jose. 
well, Jose is not here, but I like him too. So I wanted to check the video tomorrow, guys. Okay, check the video tomorrow. And uh, at, in the minute 40, in the minute around 46, como en el minuto 46 en adelante. Y quiero que escuchen cuando yo entraba a los, a los breakout rooms, cómo lo hicieron al principio y cómo lo hicieron después de repetir, después de mí. Ok, pero por favor, vean esos minutitos cuando suban la clase, está en la plataforma y van a ver la gran diferencia. Good job, I liked it. So, I need volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Just two, you don't have, you know, to fight for it. Eh, Mi Fernando. Ajá, Fernando, ¿en? Y William. Go for it, William. ¿Quién quiere ser? ¿Cómo te sentís hoy, William? <laughs> Who you wanna be? <laughs> go, go. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Someone report a fall. One on, no, on one of your machines. I'll have a look at, look at it. You're right. Uh, you know, it doesn't work properly and it makes strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. Components. Good. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it has a minor fault or what. I understand. Uh, if that is the if that if the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brush once a once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Good job, good job, I liked it. Good job, nice pronunciation, nice linking. The one that I would like to double check, everybody repeat please, minor. 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 It's a minor fault. Good minor. job, William and Fernando. I need two more people, a lo que sientan que le cueste. Two more. Me, Jose. Okay, there you go, we got Jose and we have one more. Me, Ivania. Okay, go for it, Ivania. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a foul on one of your machine. You have a look at it. Look, look at it. I'll have a look at it. I have a look at it. You are right. You know. It doesn't not work properly, and I made a strange noise. This is a com complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of compon components. 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 I need to say the metal. Casing of the body is if it's a minor power or what? Minor. Good fix. Good job. Uh huh. I understand. Is, is that if the case we need to spend thing out? I recommend to the brush once a for for night to make sure. There no doubt. In what happens, they are. We will have to send the shot. Okay. Hey, great job to Jose Antonio and also to Carla Ivania. Eso es que le valga 20 y que tenga las ganas de hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque va en el micro del trabajo, ¿no, Carla Ivania? Yes, teacher. Ahí está todo el mundo escuchando que ella está hablando inglés y no le dio pena. Congratulations to you, Carla Ivania. Congratulations to you, Jose Antonio. I don't expect you to be perfect. I expect you to try over and over and over again. Good job. And the last two. Two more. Démosle, guys. No tiene que ser perfecto. I need two more. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Ada, and the dancing partner. Uh, me, Carlos. Okay. Well, Go for yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. For coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone report a, a foul one out of your machine. I'll have a look at it. All right. You know, 
a dog snap to work properly and it makes a, a strange noise. Is a the complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine has a lot of components. I need to take the metal case off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is case, we need to speed things up. I recommend it, check the brushes one a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens is the is they are. We will have to extend the shoot. The shot. Okay, great job, Carlos. I like it. Ada, I liked it. Like I said, um this is little by little, step by step. Thank you very much for stepping up. Good job. Um, si hay cosas que se pueden mejorar, pero aquí espero no ser, es, quiero coger bien mis palabras. Si se fijan, tenemos a Ada y Carlos, que a pesar de ser nuevos y tener años sin practicarlos, van por un muy buen camino. Y también se fijan en los que ya tienen un poquito más, cómo ellos han avanzado en estos meses. Ada, Carlos y todos los que se sienten que no pueden, en un par de semanas, en, un, en ¿qué? dos, tres, cuatro semanas, si ustedes le meten, puede estar como están los demás. Eso significa que el grupo entero se puede, si lo practican a diario, pueden levantarse increíblemente. Good job, guys. I liked it. So, let's go ahead and continue with this. Say with me, expressions for describing issues. Expression for describing issues. Why do we have describing here? Why do we have the, bless you, why do we have the gerund? Because preposition Thank for. Because for, of the uh -huh. preposition for, that's right. Say with me, please. I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. A look at it. it doesn't work properly. It doesn't, it doesn't work, work properly. properly. It makes a strange noise. It makes a strange, 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 strange noise. noise. I need to. I need to. I need to speed things up. And and the 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 up. Check the brushes once a fortnight. Check the brushes once, once a fortnight. Night. Four night. I have to extend the shot. Uh, I have to the shot. A minor fault. A minor fault. A minor fault. Good. So we're going to match the expressions and the words with the phrases in the left. Small, unimportant problem. Small. Unimportant problem. A minor fault. A minor fault. So, what is the meaning of minor? Pequeños. No, no, important Or unimportant. And fault? Problem. Problem. Next one. Check it. Check it. Have a look. Have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Have a look at it. To have a look at it. A period of two weeks. A fortnight. A fortnight. A fortnight. That's right. Do something faster. Speed things up. Speed things up. Speed things up. That's right. Make the shotgun, the shotgun, que bárbaro. Shotgun, by the way, is a uh, escopeta, okay. shotgun. También. Shotgun. Yeah. También algo, guys, I don't know, yo considero que es muy difícil llegar a un call center, por ejemplo, solo hablando inglés sin saber nada de la cultura, porque le van a decir yeah. expresiones, le van a decir cosas que se van a quedar chiflando en la luna. So, for yeah. example, cuando alguien dice shotgun, es que va a ir en el asiento de adelante como pasajero, en the passenger seat, right? Y creo que por eso nosotros le decimos chongas, o por lo menos no sé si alguien dice chongas, es que va adelante. So shotgun, don't ask me why, quizás porque, no, no me pregunten por qué, pero shotgun es cuando alguien pide ir en el passenger seat, all right? No sé si le va a servir, pero es just, you know, general knowledge. All right, very good. Um, what I want you to do is that I want you to find Synonyms. Do you know what a synonym is? Synonym. Synonym. Uh, and what's a synonym? Fortnite. 
is is like um you you can try to say it, um Close. something in a different mm -hmm. using a different word exactly like shut right which is the same as Close. Yeah. Close. So I want you to look for synonyms or opposite. What is the opposite of bad? Good. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. So what I wanted to do is for you to work with this. Either, ya sea, either you find a synonym or you find um, an opposite. For example. Okay. I'll have a look at it. What is another expression you can use? Let me check. I have to review. Let me check. Uh -huh. check. I would say, let me check. Lo voy a chequear. I have to check. I'm going. I'm going to I check. Check, check. I'll, I'll, I'll check, check it. it. Mm -hmm. For example, it doesn't work properly. It doesn't function. Mm, muy bien. It doesn't function. No lo podemos ocupar. ¿Y por qué dijo muy bien? Porque ahí es donde vamos descubriendo vocabulario, right? It doesn't work. Ahí no podemos decir it doesn't function. Pero me llega que estamos tratando. Give me another one. Another synonym. Mm. It doesn't work correctly. It's not working. Yes, it doesn't work correctly. It is not working. What is the other one that we say that the other word that we use when something is not working? Don't run. Uh, it is down. It is down. 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 That's right. The machine That's is right. down. Uh -huh. All right. So what I wanted to do, guys, obviously I need to. You're going to find, you know, you can write down whatever you want, what I need to. Here, I want you to give me synonyms and opposite where I need to speed things up, okay? Here you can check something else. The point is that I want you to come up with different things, different options. Instead of check the brushes, you can check the system. I don't know. You can check the, uh, the tanks, whatever. And instead of once a fortnight, you can say every two weeks, every night, etc. all right? So, any questions on this? No? Are you sure? Are you sure, Ro? All right. Let me take attendance, guys. I'm going to be sending this to you. Les voy a mandar esto. Uh, necesito que me consigan ya sea sinónimos u opuestos. Okay? Um, Antonimo. Ajá, Antonimo. Oh, that's right. Antonimo. Or, thank you, William. Or both. If you can both, then both. Let me take attendance okay. and then we go to the breakout rooms. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ana María Chacón de García. No, present. Carda Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present teacher. Deborah Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde. Present. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Londa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabelatín Castro. No, present. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. Thanks. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Liliana, no, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis... Umaña Orellana. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. All right, guys. Working teams try to get some um, synonyms and opposite. Go for it. We're going to okay. work in this for about 10 minutes.
Sandra, Carla, did you get the invite? Ready, girls? Work on it. Let me stand up for a minute. I need to drink something. Ahora me escuchas, Carla. Sí. Hoy sí. Y si no lo va a mandar el teacher. The teacher is here. Hola. Ok, ya manda todo el rector. Dicho no va a mandar la imagen. La ven. Hola. Sí, se mira. I have a look at it. Necesito revisarlo. No tengo. No veo. It doesn't work. It's next one. La orden. I have a look at it. It doesn't work. Um, it makes sense. Se te corta bastante. Yeah. Ahora sí. Sí. It makes it makes a strange noise. Antes eh, iba. ¿Cómo? De esa. También la anda jugando de otro lado. Ah, no, no, no sé. <laughs> What is it? You don't know. It makes a strange noise. Pu puede ser opposite o, o, o sinónimo, teacher. Yeah. Uh, what is another way of saying uh, strange? Does a strange have a synonym? Weird. Weird, weird. correct. Uh, weird. Yeah. It yeah. makes a weird noise. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. It makes a weird noise. And I need to? Can be, I have to. I have to. That's another one, yes. Okay. Strange noise. All righty. Keep it up. I, I like what I'm what I'm seeing. Any questions, you can call me, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're I welcome. No podemos poner when you work, you hear a noise. ¿Cómo se traduce esto? Eh, cuando trabajas se escucha un ruido. When you work, you hear a noise. Pero sería como prácticamente lo mismo, ¿verdad? ¿no? Yeah. What's another way of saying strange? A synonym for strange? Use the internet, guys. No todo tiene que salir de ustedes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, okay to use the internet. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
y como, como para decir nunca, nunca había escuchado eso. I've never heard that before. I've, which is the contraction for I have, never heard that before. That This is tomorrow's topic. This is present perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what's the synonym of the strange? Strange. Así pónganle literalmente en internet. Strange synonyms. Vamos a ver. How are you looking? How are you looking for that on the internet? ¿Cómo lo están buscando? Uh, Ahorita estoy. Yeah, uh, different. Uh, out there, extraordinary. Son otros sinónimos. Okay. ¿Y en el contexto cree que le pega? Ah. Uh, 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 different? Sería okay. extraño o sería raro. Ajá. Uh, inus inusual? Unusual. unusual. Ahí ya podemos estar hablando. También está weird. Weird. Les weird. pregunto cómo lo están buscando. Porque la manera en que buscan es muy importante en lo que van a encontrar. Entonces, ustedes pueden poner, por ejemplo, en internet eh, la palabra que andan buscando, strange, y luego synonym. Y les va a tirar inmediatamente uh -huh. lo que están viendo, ¿verdad? Unusual, odd, curious. Uh, es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Como la séptima opción, the seventh option is weird. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, pueden, aquí me sale un, un, un link que dice 90 sinónimos. Obviamente no todos se lo van a analizar. Vocabulario y de sobra. Unfamiliar. Unfamiliar, ya. Yeah. Exactly. That's un, un unusual. Unusual. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Good job. Keep it up okay. with the rest. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. It's working fine. Yeah, we can use that. It was working fine. Good. Yeah, and the other one, check the brushes once a fortnight. Um, check the brushes once per week, once per day. What can yeah. you use that? Once a, once a week. Once a week or once per week? Once a week. In this context, is once a week. Once a week. You can also use, uh, instead of once a day, you can use every day, every day. Mm. Once a, okay. every day. Or daily, as another one, daily. Diariamente, daily. Okay, um, we're trying to do it opposite uh, and synonymous. Synonym? Synonyms. Mm -hmm. Um, opposite, opposite, opposite. Um, I don't know, check the brushes on the once a fortnight. Uh, you can you can replace um, brushes too. Check what? Check um the tools. Check the tools. Uh huh. Check the parts. Check the the parts or the components. The components. components. Yeah. Check the components. Good job. Yeah. Um. And then, the uh, other one it's make make a strange noise it's make 
It makes. It makes. Yeah, third person. It makes. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about what's, synonyms. What's a synonym about... of a strange? Mm, rat, ratterly. No, no, no. I'm not sure. Then Google it, girl. Come on, you got tools. You got internet, right? Use it. Yeah, I'm trying to use it yeah. right now. Um, strange. Unusual. Uh, unusual. Uh huh. Surprising. Yeah. Extraordinary. Remarkable. Yeah, but remarkable is like, like with a positive things. Oh, that was remarkable. Right here is like a negative things because it's not working. So you can say weird, unusual, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, weird. Mm -hmm. All righty. Mm -hmm. Keep up, guys. I'm going to give you a couple more minutes. Let me check more groups. Any questions? Mm, no, this time. Thank you. All right. Welcome. How are you doing, guys? Hi. Hi, sir. Que estamos trabajando un poco. Hi. Um, están viendo de los este hay que hacer lo que es este las de una forma de un sinónimo de cómo decir este I need to speed thing up. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que le he pedido. Correct. Ok. Eh, digamos, I need to do it faster. Yes. Good job. Okay. Take it easy. Yes, but take it easy is like slow down. Eso sería el opposite. Slow claro. down. Uh -huh. Yeah. You need to take it easy. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Next. 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 Check the brush. Check the brush. Uh, once a uh, fortnight. Check the brush. The brushes. Check the brushes. Check the brushes. Check. The brushes. Check the brushes. The periodic man, man, maintenance. Um, si dice check the brushes once every fortnight. Mm -hmm. Or yes, there's también need periodic maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. 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 Necesita un mantenimiento periódico. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Mil periódico maintenance. Okay. ¿Qué diría ahí entonces? Period maintenance. Maintenance, ¿cómo? Needs period maintenance. Maintenance. Period maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, well, but uh, the thing is that you want to say it uh, like periodicamente, right? So you would say periodically or regularly. Periodic or regularly. Periodic? ¿A qué se refiere? Periodically, como eh, periodicamente. Periodical. Periodically. Or regularly. That's another way you can also use it. Regularly. Regularly. Or regularmente. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Regular. Okay. Regularly. Okay. And next, next. next. to extend the shoot. I have, I have to stem the chap. I have to stem the chap. The shot. Oh, oh, shot. Yeah. I have to extend the chap. Hello there, everybody. How's it going? Thank you for answering. 
You're all on mute, by the way. I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry about it. So I'll have a look at it. What are your options? Let me check. Let me check. Uh huh. Let me review it. I'm going to review it. I'm going to review. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 So you can say, let's review it. Let's however, review it. However, let me see. Let me see. But that's the thing. Whenever we use let's review, is something you have done. Algo que ustedes han hecho. Cuando ocupamos okay. review. Right? So to make okay. sure that it is, is, is well done, right? Okay. No necesariamente de algo que está funcionando. But yeah, let's review it. Vamos a revisarlo. Let, let's imagine it's a procedure. Yes, you can use it. What else? Uh -huh. Nobody? It's done. Well, that's what it doesn't work properly. That's right. It's down. Let's move to this one. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't work correctly. It doesn't work correctly. Uh huh. It don't work. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Correct. It doesn't work. Does anybody have any any type of uh, opposite to this? It's working fine. It's working fine. That's right. It works properly. It works properly, uh huh. It's working fine. It runs great. Hey, it can run. Yeah. No es que sale corriendo. Yeah, pero mm -hmm. se, se, se puede ocupar mm -hmm. para maquinaria. It runs great. It runs Car, great. you know, any type of machinery. Mm -hmm. It works perfectly. It works perfectly. There you go. Now let's move to. It makes a strange noise. Uh, it makes a weird noise. A weird noise. That's weird right. noise. Mm -hmm. Weird. Weird noise. Uh huh. Unusual noise. Unusual, unusual noise. correct. Unusual, yes. You need maintenance weird noise. It needs maintenance. Maintenance. This is a, a, a word that is difficult for some people. Maintenance. 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 Yeah, maintenance. for me it is. Uh-huh. Maintenance. 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 Many people say maintenance, which is, you know, we can fix it, definitely. I say maintenance. Uh, or, the, or another one, or like mayonesa yeah. too. By the way, mayonesa, it has nothing to do with, but is, you can say mayo, mayo, like tengo mayo, mayo, or you can say mayonnaise. 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 Maintenance. Mm. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Maintenance. Maintenance. All right. Do you have any opposite? Mm. It works uh, well. Come again, William. It sounds good. It sounds good. Yeah. The opposite. No lo estoy poniendo en orden, guys. Ustedes sí lo pueden poner en orden. It sounds good. Or it sounds great too. Good. Great. Yeah. Very good. Write it down, guys. This is your vocabulary. I need to. I require. I require. I or it, right? It depends. Quien lo necesita, si tú o el sistema o la máquina. I require or it requires. Uh huh. I have to. I have to. Good. Another one? I want to. Uh, I want to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You can use it too. Very good. And what is the opposite for this? Keep it simple and use the negatives. What is the negative of I want to? I don't want to. What is the negative of I need to? I don't need to. Negative of I have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. And you can use other ones that is I must. For I must. Thing okay. It's an obligation. That's you must. Next one. I need to speed yeah. things up. I need to rush uh, things. Uh -huh, to rush uh -huh, things up. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I need to I make need things to faster. Uh -huh, to expedite. Uh -huh, to make things faster. Okay. And the opposites? Um, uh -huh. um, to slow. I need to delay it. To slow, to slow down. Slow down. Uh, to delay. Very good. Nice. Check the brushes once a fortnight. Verify the brushes. Good. To verify, uh huh. So now we have another another synonym for check. What else? Look, look um, at it. Look at check. Um. Yeah, look at. Let's use look at. What about instead of once a fortnight? Mm. Every week. Every week, uh-huh. Write it down, guys. This is vocabulary for you. Una vez al día. Once a day. Once a day. Dos veces al día. Twice a day. Twice a day. Dos veces a la semana. Twice a week. Twice a week. Dos veces al año. Twice a year. What other way do we have to say dos veces al año? ¿Qué otra manera tenemos para decir dos veces al año? Semester. Ajá. ¿Y ahí qué ocupamos? Um, Once or every? What do we use there? Every. Every. Cada seis every meses? Semester. Every six months. Every six months. Every six months. Cada semana? Every week. Every week. Every week. Cada año? Every year. Every year. Good job. I like it. I have to extend the shot. I have to. I have to make it longer. Ah, uh, I I have to make it longer for we right. Uh huh. Like it. Okay. Um... Branches. Come again. A branches. Mm, what do you mean exactly by that one? Mm, I'll have the branches of ramificaciones, no? Ah, the branches, okay. yeah. Branches, um, yeah. sucursales in this case. Para árboles, uh -huh. las branches son las ramas, guys. Literalmente, donde mm -hmm. hay hojas. Pero en, you know, in business vocabulary, it's sucursal. All right. What is the opposite for this one? Reduce. Reduce, that's right. Se acuerdan de reduce fast. <laughs> I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. A minor fault? A minor glitch. A minor bridge? Glitch? No, glitch. Ah, glitch. okay. I think it's like this. Glitch. Glitch. Mm -hmm. glitch. What else? A little problem. A little problem. And the opposites? A, 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 a big fall. A big, <laughs> what is the big. opposite of minor? 
Minor. Uh, major. Uh, major. Uh -huh. uh, Let me check. Okay, this, Minor I have to form. be honest with you. Let me check if it's with Y or with J. Give me a second. Major. Uh, form. Gonna double check it. Can't remember. Major. Major. Hey, come on, man. Don't talk to people like that, Fernando. No, no. Vino mi perrito, no se lo de. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, man. What's wrong with you? Don't say that. That's... <laughs> okay, by the way, yeah, it's a, it's a mistake. It's not with Y. It's with J. Mayor. Major. Mm -hmm. Major. Major. Major, major fault. Alrighty. Um, no sé si han visto ustedes, uh, no sé si ven redes sociales, hay memes o hay videos que empieza uno a buscar una palabra en el diccionario y le sale otra. Luego le sale otra y luego le sale otra y luego regresa la primera palabra y nunca supe qué era. Entonces, tengan cuidado con los sinónimos, que es muy fácil perderse y no necesitan memorizárselos todos. Okay. <clears throat> ¿Por qué es necesario aprender sinónimos? Porque muchas veces cuando nosotros hablamos, y es la importancia de aprendérselos en inglés, no vamos a saber cómo decir las cosas. Y eso nos afecta nuestra fluidez. Entonces, si ustedes tienen vocabulario, si no lo dicen de una manera, lo dicen de otra. Okay. Simple. Y por eso el vocabulario es muy importante. Okay. Mayor es también alcalde. alcalde. Correct. Uh -huh. también es alcalde that's the thing, una misma cosa puede significar varias cosas, good job so, this is what we're going to do guys, I hope that you have uh, written it down we're going to be working and I want you to prepare a small conversation okay, I want you to first, to use this vocabulary to talk about the things that are going wrong in your company Okay, lo que siempre pasa en su compañía, que se fríe el lavamanos y está goteando, que no se ve el agua en el, en el inodoro, que se trabe el papel en la fotocopiadora, que la doña de la tienda no le ha devuelto. Eso no es un problema de, acuérdense que es un problema de um, equipment or machinery. Ya sea de maquinaria, pero obviamente si no hay, de las cosas que hayan allá. Quiero que hablen de los problemas que tienen ustedes. Okay? Se le congela la compu. Eh, se cae el sistema, se le va el internet, whatever. I just wanted to mention it. Real life. Y en base a lo que hablen, entonces ahí sí necesito que me creen una conversación rapidita. Puede ser ustedes mismos que se estén contando los unos a los otros. For example, um, I need a volunteer to work with me. Come on, guys. Just one volunteer, not everybody. Mi Fernando, voy a tratar. Okay, go for it. Hey, um, <clears throat> Fernando, is there a problem with the machinery? Yes, yes, is, there is. Uh, the machinery uh, doesn't work. Oh, okay. I understand. You know what? I'll have a look at it. Uh, how long time? What? What, what takes? Uh-huh. How, how long time it takes to you to check it? Good. How long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? Well, I don't know. Um, what's the problem? Uh, the, this uh, specific machine, uh, uh -huh. it makes a strange noise. Oh, okay. You know what? I need to check it. Y así van, guys. Un par de cositas. No tiene que ser rocket science de una a la otra. Por eso les preguntaba al principio que qué tanto les cuesta crear. ¿Es it clear? ¿O sí? Yeah, ok. I'm gonna recre I'm gonna change the groups and we're gonna group in we're gonna work in groups of uh, three participants. Ok. I need everybody, every single group is gonna participate after we take attendance. So you got 15 minutes, no more. I take attendance and everybody participates. Clear?
Yes, clear. Do your best, guys. You can do this. Go for it. de grupo. Ah, eso fue lo que ocurrió. Yeah, Perfecto. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is very easy. Yeah. Hey, teacher, can you, can you tell to Jose that previously you sent to another group? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You sent me to another group? Yeah, I sent, I sent you to another group because there was only one person. Okay. Yeah, because he's asking me why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I was the one. Go for it. You got 13 minutes. Go. Time is money. Only, only speak. Only spoken at the beginning, but then you have to create a conversation. A quick okay. conversation, like one minute, two minute thing. Top. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, please. So remember that we need to include the vocabulary uh, that we already learned. Just okay. for the words. Okay. okay. So my idea is to create a conversation. Maybe we are from colleagues and we are explaining that we have an issue with the system. Hi. Okay, guys, make sure you ask any questions. If you're confused, ask any questions. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Hector, Jose. Pero yo, yo no le entendí lo que dijo. Okay. Muy bien. So, si, si algo no se ha entendido, pregúntenle, guys. Pero no se queden callados, que ahí nos quitamos un minuto del tiempo. Vamos, ustedes. Yo sorry, what did you say? There you go. Vamos, I'm going to let you work. Ah. Go for it. Good job. Lento. No hay un operario. Ok. Tienes que hacer un diálogo de eso para que tengamos algo. Uh -huh. You can share real life scenarios. And based on that, if you want, you can create a conversation. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo? Generalmente a mí lo que me cuesta, teacher, es como iniciar o entablar una, una conversación, la verdad. Este, no sé cómo entablarla o cómo iniciarla. It depends. De depende del escenario, right? Pero en este caso ustedes pueden okay, empezar pero... como que ya estuviera. So, um, what seems to be the problem? ¿Cuál parece ser el problema? Acuérdese que sé que son extractos de oración, de, de, de conversaciones. No necesariamente la pueden con, eh, empezar de cero. Okay. Hey, um, José, I am the technician. Someone told me you have an issue. Like, for example, yo soy el técnico. Alguien me dijo que tú tienes un problema. No importa la verdad cómo empieza. Okay. What is the problem? So, so puede decirle, hi, Jose, what is the problem? Yeah, like that. Okay. Hey, Jose, me va a responder, ¿cómo? <laughs> oh, Fátima. <laughs> what is you the got, problem? You got nine minutes, guys. Hoy oh, sí empezaron. Démosle. Okay. Nine okay. minutes. Okay. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? How do you say como es en English? <laughs> How is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go for it, guys. You got eight minutes. Or... How are you doing? Uh -huh. Hey, okay. but I have a lot of problems with the equipment. 
Okay. okay. Is there a problem with your equipment, Miguel? Uh, yes. Um, the printer doesn't work. Uh, the paper is, ¿cómo se dice trabado, teacher? Jamen. Uh, jam or stuck. Uh -huh. stuck. Teacher, the printer doesn't, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. The paper is jam. Is jammed. Jammed. Jam. The paper is jam. And I don't know, Excel sometimes doesn't work on my computer. I lose my jobs. My jobs? Como pierdo mis trabajos, o sea, de Excel. You can say my files, mis archivos. I lose the work done, el trabajo hecho, the work done. Okay. Good. Um, William can take care of the printer, for example, and Roberto can take care of the Excel issue. I don't know. Work it out. You got eight minutes. Good job. Okay. 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 I I have. I don't know. Maybe two hundred. I think. But then I decide to 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 study to learn English. And at the end, I moved to to a, concept, to a call center. Vaya, yo vamos a hablar del router siempre, y yo le voy a decir a Catherine que estaba fallando ayer y que no le podía mandar el correo. Fernando, ¿qué estructura es esa la que estás hablando en español? Estoy hablando presente, presente, simple. Vamos a. Ah, going, going, going to, going to talk. There you go, buddy. You already covered that topic. Come on, use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I start uh, catering my my internet was bad uh, yesterday. Down. Was down. Ah. Was down yesterday, and for for that I I can send to you. The email, what do you need? Uh, que tu necesitaba, no. Okay, good. That... I couldn't. Could is, is también el pasado de can. So I ah, okay. couldn't, no pude. Ah, okay. I, I couldn't, couldn't send you the, the email uh, that you require. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, entonces. How do you say entonces? Uh -huh. Then, also. So. so. Yeah. Good, guys. Come on. Si ya saben decirlo en inglés, díganlo en inglés. Démosle, guys. Good job. You got six minutes. Hurry up. Okay. okay. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Do you have something ready? Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks for taking care of me, Sandra. Sandrita. I think she's out. Uh, in the meantime, somebody is, uh, Miriam, mm -hmm. take her, her place. No problem, how can I help you? We were scanning some documents and a small document hand in the scanner. Jam. Nice done. Some page had started. Jam. Okay, good. I like it. I like it. You're doing good. It is appropriate. It's appropriate. appropriate. Mm -hmm. Because the equipment is damaged, but uh, we'll review it. I, I will review it. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Okay. For the moment, we have Okay, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> good, 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 good. Add a couple of things. Acuérdense, Dios, no es necesario que creen como que la gran, super, super, duper uh, conversación. Pueden pasar con el vocabulario que ya tenemos de la una a la otra. Solo busquen cuál tiene sentido. Agréguenle un poquito más. I like what, I, what I'm hearing. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Okay. I'm going to let you work. Let me check one more group. Good job. Okay. How long has 
¿Cómo sería? How long? Has ¿Cuánto? Mm, has been like fallando, like, fallando. ¿Cuánto tiempo lleva fallando? Um, Falla. Normally, good job, girls. I like where you're going. Normally, would say something like, uh, "When did the when?" Blah, blah, blah. When what? When did the issue? <laughs> Sorry, se me la traba sometimes. When did the issue start? When did uh, uh, when the issue? When did the issue start? Uh -huh. Bye. Simple past. Okay. When did the issue start? Okay. Uh, is the problem the equipment is uh three days three days ago three days ago the problem okay. the problem is start three days ago three days ago good answer uh, I can repay. Maybe, maybe Deborah, can you help? Uh, we need change uh, some pieces. Pieces. Maybe oh. a cable. Maybe a cable. Okay. That is is the problem, or or also or, or the connector. <laughs> Good. I like it. <laughs> Uh, teacher, I is how much the time will it take, or how long the time? How long? Will it take? How Normally, long? how long makes reference to time. So how long? Okay. This is a, a WH uh, okay. question with will. How long okay. will it take? How long okay. will it take? Okay. Will it take? Mm -hmm. Finish it. You got okay. sixty seconds. Come. Sit. Oh. Ahí le dice, how long will it take? Uh -huh. Y ahí me dice, eh, dos semanas, ¿verdad? Maybe, uh -huh. maybe for a fortnight maybe or a fortnight. two weeks. Ok, ah, yo le digo. Maybe a fortnight. It's too it's much. Ok, time. perfect. Ok. Ah, well, it's perfect. Ok. Ok, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> y, y, y dijo que estaba apurada, que tenía pacientes. No, no tenemos de repuesto. Yo sé, apurate. Aria. Speed things up. Don't be so rude. Oh, ok. <laughs> ok, good job. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Let's take attendance. The last one. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ana María Chacón de García. Not present. Carly Vani Cabrera de Susano. Not present. Oh, sí. No veo. Carly Vani. Present. Okay. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson yeah. Andoni Guzmán Andaverde, no present. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Sengeros Reyes, not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Tanda Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mos Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not present. Don Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. 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 Thank you, thank you. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro, not present. Por motivo de auditoría en Sefort, eh, la participante se conectó, pero usted tiene problemas de salud. Espero que se mejore pronto. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Sandra. Um, present. La voy a tomar como presente nuevamente por motivos de la autoridad de Sofort. 
la participante Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero está presente, pero presenta problemas de internet. Ahí la vemos diciendo que sí. ¿Ya? Ok, thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Sumaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. No, present. All right. Nuevamente por motivos de diferencia. Por... Ah, there she is. There she is. Present. Okay. Good. Let's get this done, guys. Show me your work. Hector, Jose Saúl, and Jocelyn. Go. Oh, by the way, sorry to stop okay. you. Sorry to stop you. Today is Carla Yanet. Your turn. Yes, 10 to 10, 10, girl. You got your questions yeah. ready? Yes. Awesome. Let's do this. Go for it. Hector, Jose, Jocelyn. Okay. Uh, hi, sorry. Mm. Hi, Jose. Tell me about your work. In, don't you have any issue, guys, with the with the system? In my case, I have. In my case, it does not work properly because we are in the server from user. Close the root. In my case, in my case, the printer not working often, and it doesn't have paper. Oh my God! I understand. Guys. In my case, yeah, I have no internet connection, and the system doesn't work properly sometimes. But anyway, that's all. Okay. Good job. Good job. I liked it, guys. You know, something short, something clear, concise, using the vocabulary. Um, you know, a couple of things like, for example, uh, the printer is not working, for example. Um, the US or the USA, small details that we will fix with vocabulary and practice. Good job. Next one, Carlos Armando, Fatima. Is there anybody else with you or just the two of you? Jose. Okay, go for it. Hi, I need Hi, help. Carlos. Hi, I need help. My computer has frozen and I don't have internet access. My files are not safe and probably lose all information. It is not working properly. It's a make strange noise when they shut down. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima. Hello. Yeah. You need. You need call a technical technical support. Yes. <laughs> yes. Repeat technical support. Yes. Un te Technical, technical support. Good. Uh -huh. Thanks, Fatima. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Fatima. Do you have any problem? Me too. Uh, the machines don't work. It is need maintenance. It is makes way. Do you know how much me mechanic? Oh, no, Jose. I am a front in properties of accessories. Uh, I can help you in something. Okay, we need him to come check in right now. It's, it is imp important. Good. Please, Good. please. Oh, I think uh, I think it is a small fault, probably. To check it, um, uh, mechanic. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you're doing great, guys. Don't worry. You can you can leave it there. Good job. Good job. That's the effort. 
Um, okay. Carlos Armando, Fátima, José Antonio, good job, I liked it. You are using the vocabulary. Okay, trying to put it in context and that's great. Fátima, I need more from you. You're good, but I need more participation from you next time, okay? Don't be afraid, it's okay. Good job, good job, good job. Next one, Miguel, Roberto, and William. Oh, hey guys, how are you? I'm bad, William. I have a lot of problem with the equipment in my job. Okay, is there a problem with your printer? Yes, there is. The printer doesn't work. The paper is jammed every day. Mm -hmm. Excel sometimes doesn't work on my computer. I look, I lost my fields, my file. Files, good. Files. Oh, I understand. I have a look at it. So I have a couple of recommendations. Uh, you should clean the printer often and give regular maintenance. Don't have, don't hit the printer and keep ink level. Don't hit, like hitting it, punching it. Uh -huh. oh, I don't okay. know. Hit. <laughs> hit. Yeah, good advice. Okay, William. Um, Excel, can you help me with that? No, uh, no, I can't. But my friend Roberto is a te technical and he can help you. Okay. He's a technician. Okay. Hey, Roberto, can you help me? Roberto is mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, I have to check the program. Okay, can you come check, check it out? So? Yes, I understand, but in this moment, I'm very busy. I recommend that you receive the program. If that didn't work, I need to speed things up. Okay, guys, thank you for your help. I will do everything they tell me. Now get out of here. Hey, come on, that's my line, man. That's my line. Don't steal it. Hey, good job, Roberto Miguel and, and, and William. Okay. And this is very typical, right? Reset the system. I'm busy right yeah. now from, from IT. Good job. Real life scenario. Liked it. Um, by the way, guys, whenever I ask you to correct something, don't tell me, okay, repeat, you know, fix it on the go, on the spot. Uh, guys, get out of here. Literally, that's my line, okay? Be careful saying get out of here to your people. Uh, get out of here can also mean no 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 don't worry <laughs> get out of here can also mean like you don't believe something puede significar que no creen algo hey Narbona bought a Ferrari get out of here como que no creen ¿verdad? ese es uno de los usos más, más comunes right um, Narbona tiene una casa en la playa get out of here I wish so, <laughs> I wish and also get out of here es también como que vete de aquí, pero yo se lo digo con cariño. Be careful with that. Era la intención, teacher, porque no les creí nada. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can get into trouble because of that. But good. Um, <laughs> Miriam, Rina, and Sandra, go for it. Thanks for taking care of me, Sandra. No problem. I cannot help you. We were scanning some documents and a small document happened in the scanner. Let's review, let's review it. I think nice and some page are established. Uh -huh, the, the, the staples. The staples. La grapa is good. Uh -huh, good. Is appropriate to remove the paper from the parcels because the equipment is damaged. But I mm -hmm. will review it. Good. Pages. 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 Mm -hmm. I does work properly. I need to speak my word. Good. Thank you. 
you're on mute, Rina. Yes, because I have to extend the working time. Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Only teach. All right, good job. Good job, Rina, uh, Miriam, and Sandra. Well done as far as the structure. I liked it. You know, pronunciation comes with practice. Don't worry about it. Good job. Let's go with Ada, Deborah, and Carla. Go. Hello. Good afternoon, engineer. I need to uh, help you. Uh, good afternoon, doctor. How can I help you? I need to report the ultrasound equipment. Equipment. Uh, equipment. Equipment. Mm -hmm. equipment. Tell me, what is the problem? I am the equipment is I cannot carry out a study and they make a strange noise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. When, mm -hmm. Let me check it. Let me check it. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, uh, when did the issue start? Um, three days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We need to change some pieces. Oh, maybe the problem are the cables or the connectors. No. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how long? How long will time will it take? Mm -hmm. Maybe um, a fortnight. Fortnight. Oh. Okay, thank you, engineers. <laughs> Only teacher. Good job. Nice, nice structure, nice applied vocabulary. Kudos for you. Good job. And last but not least, I'm going to have Fernando, Isela, and Catherine. Go for it. <clears throat> uh, um. Hi, Fernando. I have an issue with my computer. I'm about to log in at 10 a.m. And I don't know why, but the computer is, is not working and, and the tools are, are not loading. Uh, Could you help the, me? Sure. Uh, did you check the updates <clears throat> of the system? Yeah, I already checked it, but it still doesn't work. Do you have another idea to resolve mm -hmm. it? Uh, let me check it. Mm. I need to check inside and uh, verifying the fan doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise and that causes the temperature to rise and the, com the computer slow down. Do you think that I need to reset my computer? Because I need to resolve this issue as soon as possible. Uh, you need to the, the computer needs uh, to get maintenance uh, and a, a good good uh, como says, limpieza cleaner cleaner uh, good yeah. cleaner yeah and, and a good, good cleaner uh, and do you, ah, and a good yeah. cleaning yeah do you know how long it's going to take is the mm. correct way to say it uh, I have I have it ready for tomorrow, I think. Okay. So please go ahead and, and try to repair my computer. Okay. That's it, yeah. teacher. I don't know what happened with the other girl. Yeah, she, she might have been uh, having internet issues. No worries. All right. Oh, thank you very much, guys. Yeah, I liked it. Um, how long is it going to take? That's your question. How long is it going to take? How, so, how long is it going to take? Is it going to take? Is it going to take? Okay. That's right. Guys, good job to all of you. you. I asked you at the beginning, is it difficult for you to create? And you have done a marvelous job. Marvelous is like fantastic, terrific, something great. All right? Okay. So give yourself a little credit. Dense un poco de crédito. Es normal que les cueste. Es un proceso de aprendizaje. Hay curvas, hay baches. Pero sigan metiendo que me ha gustado mucho el trabajo de hoy. Mañana vamos con Present Perfect. Todavía tienen 24 horas, 22, para trabajar con los verbos. Por lo menos denles una ojeada o tengan listo una lista de verbos para mañana. ¿Ok? 
So thank you very okay. much, guys. I'm going to stay with Carla and Ed, the rest of you. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Good night. All righty. Carla, okay. tell me. Uh, con el there is, el there are teacher. Dígalo. Si me, si me preguntan, is there a paper in the printer? Yo puedo decir, there is a lot paper. Yes. Yes. No. Y el... Lo único que sí voy a cambiar es, is there paper? Uh -huh. No puedes decir a paper porque oh, okay. papel no es contable. Te explico aquí. Is there any paper? Generalmente ocupamos el any para saber si hay algo de. Is there any paper in the printer? Y aquí si tú vas a ocupar, yes, there is. Yes, there, there is. ¿Por qué? Porque el papel no se puede contar. Uh -huh. Sí puedes contar y... hojas de papel. Are there sheets of paper in the printer? ¿Cuál es la respuesta ahí? Yes, there are. Muy bien. Uh, y, ahí, y en ese there are le puedo agregar también el there are lots. Yeah. There are a lot. Lots. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué are? Porque tú estás hablando de páginas, mm. no de papel. ¿Cómo, okay. ¿Cómo sería eso que tú me estás diciendo que hay un montón? Uh, is there any paper in the printer? Yes, there is. Uh -huh. There is a lot. Very good. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué? Porque is there, con is tenés dos opciones. O ocupas, por ejemplo, a mouse. Uh -huh. Siempre singular, puede ser a mouse, que son contables. Uh -huh. A pen, a cell phone, a wallet, siempre con A, porque es uno. Pero uh -huh. también lo puedes ocupar con incontables. Y ahí ya no le pones el artículo A. Is there... Que... Ajá. Any. Puede ser any. Puede ser any. Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. O simplemente sin el any, ¿verdad? Pero yo te aconsejo que uses any. Por ejemplo, si quieres decir si hay agua. Aquí cada rato se ve el agua, ¿no? Is there, a, is there water? Muy bien. ¿Hay agua? Bueno, ahí sería running water, vea, por el contexto. Pero si quieres saber si hay algo, si hay café. Is there coffee? Ajá. Uh -huh. Or oh, is there any coffee? Any coffee. Uh -huh. mm. Y si en la pregunta, uh -huh. es, estamos haciendo la singular, pero si es plural la respuesta, lo puedo cambiar a there are. O siempre tengo que contestar con el there is. No, 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 no. Es que aquí es algo bastante subjetivo. Por motivo de práctica, yo sí te digo en la respuesta a la pregunta, en la pregunta uh -huh. a la respuesta, right? Pero acordate uh -huh. que tú al momento de contestar, vas a contestar con lo que tú quieres decir. Ah, ok. Ah, si okay. yo te digo, pero aquí también depende. Si tú me decís, is there any paper in the printer? Uh -huh. Ahí tú puedes contestar es que es como bien difícil salirse en este contexto. Ahí vos puedes uh -huh. decir, yes, there is, ya contestaste bien, y uh -huh. luego pones, there are a hundred sheets of paper. Ah, ok. Entonces okay. sí se puede mezclar. Es un poco más difícil uh -huh. contestarlo sin el yes, there is, porque acordate que es una pregunta de sí o no. Uh -huh. Entonces generalmente sí se contesta así. Ahora uh -huh. si te dicen, eh, en una pregunta WH, que es más información que está como tú crees. Uh -huh. Ok. En el caso de las al auto, uh -huh. cuando, cuando es WH, ¿verdad que solo es el, por ejemplo, el why? Why it, eh, why it is. Is it. En, en, is it. Uh -huh. Is it. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Pero solo se le agrega el WH, que ayer me quedó la duda, porque Sabrina me decía que no, que quedaba it is. Entonces, y me recuerdo que se cambia para pregunta. Y si es WH, solo se le va a agregar el WH y siempre va a quedar la misma estructura. Exacto, exacto. Muy bien. Ah, okay. Sí, solo es la WH. Acordate que también la WH puede llevar complemento. 
por ejemplo, mm -hmm. en vez de poner, uh, is it allowed to swim in the pool? Yeah, obvio. Mm -hmm. Is it allowed to swim in the pool? Ahí tú puedes decirle when. Cuando, vea. Mm -hmm. When uh -huh. is it allowed to swim in the pool? Y ahí solo le estás poniendo el WH. Pero, por ejemplo, what time is it allowed? It allowed. Eso, siempre decimos what time junto. Pero el time es este complemento para el what. Entonces, dependiendo de lo que uh -huh. tú quieras preguntar, le, le puedes meter más cosas. Generalmente con what. Uh -huh. What moment. Que no, no se pregunta esto, pero solo es un ejemplo. What moment uh -huh. is it allowed to swim in the pool? What time frame is it allowed to swim in the pool? Entonces, para contestar tu pregunta, sí, solo se le pone la WH, pero a veces, para que no te confundas, si lo ves más largo, puede llevar complemento. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Aunque la estructura okay. se mantiene. Ok, y eh, ¿cuál es la diferencia con el what time y el how long? Que el what time es a qué horas. El y el long. how long es como cuánto va a durar. How long es enfocado en la duración. Uh -huh. Right? Ah, ok, ok. Y What generalmente va con, con tiempo. O sea, siempre uh -huh. va con tiempo. How long? Ok. Y el going to con el... Porque estábamos viendo el, el will, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y en, en ese... O sea, el, el will... Es futuro uh -huh. más lejano que el going to. O, o... Um, sí, 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 lo podrías decir así. Te explico rápidamente. Will generalmente se ocupa cuando tú has tomado una, una decisión instantánea. Uh -huh. O para predicciones, ¿no? Que no estás tan seguro o no estás 100% seguro que va a pasar. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, tú vas a decir... It will rain tomorrow or it is going to rain tomorrow? It will. Va a llover mañana. Está segura que obviamente el forecast, uh, que es el tiempo, a veces falla. Uh -huh. Te dice va a estar frío, it te lleva uh, la chumpa y gran calor. Okay, Entonces uh, ahí cabe más will. will porque it es una will, predicción. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. O que tú digas, ah, I'll go to the beach, voy a ir a la playa. Pero no sabes a qué hora, no sabes con quién, no sabes cómo, no sabes a dónde. Uh -huh. Entonces, going to ya es más un plan. Algo que tú estás segura que va a pasar. Uh -huh. I'm going okay. to go to the beach. What time? 3 p.m. Who you go with? With Carla Yanet, with uh, José Alfonso. Vayas o no vayas, es un plan. Se te puede donar el carro, te enferma el niño, whatever. Uh -huh. Ahora, ah, okay. Cuando vos lo veas ya hablado, la gente los ocupa intercambiables y a veces les vale 20. Así. Pero sí tiene una diferencia gramatical. Dígalo. Ok. Y el, el issue, porque hicimos un ejemplo nosotros, pusimos small issue, como diciendo un pequeño problema, ese está uh -huh. bien, esa estructura. Yes, small issue. Yeah. Ah, ok. Sí, porque nos, nos quedó ahí la duda, ya, ya ni la dijimos. Ya. Yeah. Issue oh. is a synonym of a problem. Puede ser un sinónimo de problema. Uh -huh. O que uh -huh. algo está pasando y que tiene que ser atendido. Uh -huh. right? algo, something you have to address. Address, no solo dirección, como address, sino también uh -huh. como algo que tú tenés que... Te lo acabo de decir en español y ya se me olvidó. Algo que tenés que como solucionar o que tenés que tratar. Address. Address. You need to, como verbo, address the situation. Es como encargarte de, you need to address the situation. Hacerte cargo de, enfrentarlo, hacer algo. Okay, the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's all, teacher. Good job. Only hey, that. Congratulations, Carla. <laughs> uh, I know you're doing a great job. Sé que a veces ahí tenés que con los niños y todo eso, muy bien. Este, y me llegó, prácticamente tus 10 minutos fueron pum, 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 ya tenías todo listo, no venías a perder el tiempo, y eso me llegó. Felicidad. Right. Ok, thank Have you. Have a good night, keep it like that. Get out of here, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.
बाय टीचर बाय